I know you guys miss me. I haven't been here in a long time. I haven't been on. And so you're probably wondering why I have this face full of makeup on. It's because I just did a tutorial. So you guys will be getting that one too. Disregard my ratchet nails. I need to do them today. And I am going to do them today. So, mm. Anywho. So my boo, Dita, asked me to do a tutorial on how I do my hair. Like this little updo style that I can't stop doing. And um, so, yeah, I want to do that for you today. Don't mind my twists. They're just there because I knew I was going to do this tutorial today. So, also, um, it's a really cool, I'm going to do the easier one. There's like two different styles that I do. One is like pulled up and it's all curls. And then one is just pulled up with just a slight little feather look in the front. That's the one I'm going to do today because, as you can see, my hair is dyed, and I still have like a inch of like relaxer on my hair left. So before I'm like fully natural, and so I don't like to flat iron my hair a lot because you know it's very sensitive. Duh. And so um yeah, I'll just show you guys how to do that today. The little cute easy one it takes like ten minutes tops. So what you're gonna do is I part my hair because I like side parts. And so, it's gonna park that. That'll be out, right? And comb this. Now, either you can just slick your hair up. I like to add a little pizzazz to it. And so, what I do is I just twist it. Try to make my twist as tight as possible so the legs come on too tight too tight what I just put a random clip in there like a random hair clip. Right. And so as you can see, this part is going to be put into like a little hump, you know. So what you're going to do is just create the hump. So this part is going to be out. Right. You're going to create a little hump. Like a little hump. I don't want to be like sneaky, sneaky dad out here. And then you see that? So what I do once I make my little hump, I just put a, um, a bobby pin in it, just so I know where it's gonna be. Bobby pin in it. Don't forget about this. So I let it go to like around here. You see that? That's how far I like my feather to be. And so, I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. The twist. There you go. So, I'm going to take the rest of it and just pull it up. I don't like to use much product on my hair. Because it weighs my hair down. And then I have to wash my hair constantly. And I I wash my hair like let's see about like every other week. And so what I do to hold the back so I can hold its I guess upness without having like sixty body pants, I just twist it. <laughs> see, I'll show you. See that? Twist it. And then I put a body pin. Pizza. There it was. I twisted it. And right. And then all you have to do now is find that pin that you put it in to create that hump. Right? And just squeeze that out. Because then you can pull this hair out. 
You guys can find, you know, easier ways to do it. This is how I do it. So it all comes together and it's all janky. And then I put a bobby pin in that so the back doesn't look too weird. Then I put like this huge bobby pin in it to hold it completely. To hold everything together. Lopsided because I can't really see properly. Right, little hump, little hump. So this part, I'm gonna take your flat irons, whatever flat irons you have. I use little bitty ones because my hair is not that long. My hair's like here, as you saw. And so, and plus, I like the smaller ones because it gives me better grip to create the um. To create the uh, the flip the the little feather look, so then we're gonna gonna part it. And you always part on an angle for because that's how the hair goes. It's on an angle, and I make sure like the first piece is the most curled. See what I mean by most curled? Like, I don't want that curl to be so serious. Right? And you'll get that feather look if you hold it at an angle. It'll do exactly what you want it to do. Don't be upset if you miss a hair. Just go and get it. Boom. So now that that's done, right? All you're gonna do is take this hand and pull and stretch your hair up, right? See what the curls do. They will stand up all right. And I take a rat tail comb and take this hand and just feather it up. And I always calm some down. Just have like a slight bang. Because I'm weird with that. Everything in my forehead, even though I have a small head. And the reason why I wanted that to be curled to no end at the end is so it can be, you know, a little cute. Peace. 
right? And if you don't feel like doing all that, you can just do that. It'll give the same effect. One way is just like super layered, while the other way is just more, more feathered. Same effect though. And if you live in a windy city, like I do, you will probably want to like, you know, spritz it or something or spray some type of holding spray on it. But yeah. This was the hair that I wore to the Beyonce concert, darling. Mm. And I just thought I was fabulous. Well, I was kind of cute, but you know. I wasn't, I wasn't Queen B in there. Yeah, and I'm probably just going to keep messing with it, but this is it. I'll put another one up with the one that is, like, fully curled and only, like, this much is braided to the back or swooped and all of this, including the hump, like, so by, like, this much hair is curled, so... Like I said, I don't like curling my hair that much or using a flat iron on it. Too much heat, you know. Heat damage. That's not cute, so. So, yeah. There you guys have it. Little cute, little quick style there for you guys. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys like the tutorial. I hope you guys like the makeup tutorial that you'll see. And I hope you guys like the little, little hair tutorial that I just did for you guys. All right. You guys have a great one.